Hey, welcome to House Design, and in this SolidWorks video series, we're going to be exploring the design of the Tesla Model Y, an extremely advanced vehicle that is just coming out on the market. We have the exterior wheels and the super advanced suspension system with, of course, the electric drive and batteries. So why don't we just dive in? All right, so when we are starting with the exterior shell of the Tesla Model Y, we're gonna first, like always, import our blueprint images onto each plane. That gives us our front, side, and top views. If you haven't uh, seen my video on how to do that, check it out for importing sketch pictures. Now that we have that, we're gonna create our back plane for the additional view. It's going to be offset from the front view plane rather at a distance now we'll go in to create our first curve and sketch we're going to start following the lines using splines on the back using the top view. And our side. Following these curves here. To then project our curve. So we're gonna start working at the surfaces first. We're gonna insert our rear view on the back side. And we're gonna get our first, once we have our sketch 45. From a spline. Tesla is going to have a lot of curvy organic shapes, so we're going to be using the spline a lot. And our Sketch 54 on the back, following this side outline here on our rear plane. extrude the surface outwards 163 1630 rather tool. This is going to be good practice for surfacing for those who are new to it. Playing out these rough features for now. This time on the front view out like so we've got on the side plane our sketch of the wheel wells using these lines and we're 
going to trim away everything except that sketch. Selecting the bodies we want to remove. Now we're going to start creating more curves. first curve here we're gonna have our sketch here along the front side following the blueprint of the vehicle side drawing these curves up here to get our curve 11 same thing with curve 12 on the back side one curve on the side and another on this time the rear. With that same sketch. Now we got curve 11 and 12. surface with these two edges Create our 3D sketches for closing these gaps here and creating vertices between these two curves here to give it some depth. And then we can create another boundary surface. Direction two, we have those lines from the 3D sketch. here and select these two vertices for a 3d line for the bottom now they're at the top following this line on the blueprint and last but not least projecting these 3D curves, or edges rather, to then make our another boundary surface. Top 
the bottom, left to right. Same thing with this one. We're going to share that one from the last one. And we're going to start tracing this line here as another 3D sketch. Following that line on the side, blueprint. And projecting that edge there between the two points. Create our additional surface. You can see our selections here. And hit OK. Share that sketch. Now, if we go to a normal on the side plane, you can see how things are coming along. Now we're gonna add our additional bottom surface. Notice how we're not directly on the center side plane, but we're 3D sketching out between these two curves, out in the middle of space. So it's like a 3D spline 